the 15th overall pick in the MLB draft this year, one of the top prospects in baseball, was with the Angels yesterday, but he's with the Giants today. And he drives it into right center field, hit a ton. This baby is way back. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel, and today it's official. The Giants have got Will Wilson from the Angels along with Zach Cozart for what? Probably money or a player to be named later. We'll have to wait and see, but I ain't worried about it because we ain't losing anyone right now except money. Not my money. We got one of the top prospects in the game. How can I not like this move? This move is awesome. 21 years old. Will Wilson, this guy was the Angels' first round draft pick in 2019. How amazing is that? Not from 2017, not from 2018, 2019. This guy was just drafted number, not number one, number 15, but in the first round. I mean, a very high prospect. This is the number four prospect in all of the Angels system, and he's now with the Giants. Absolutely awesome. Per MLB Pipeline, though he's not physically imposing, Wilson has quick hands and deceptive strength that give him at least above average raw power. A right-handed hitter, he has a knack for putting the barrel on the ball. He shows the ability to hit for average and power, and he has done a better job of drawing walks this spring despite his aggressive approach. It's amazing how much better the Giants farm system is just in a couple years, not even two years. I'm about to show you what the top seven prospects look like for the Giants opening day 2018, which is less than two years ago compared to the top seven now. It is startling. I mean, yes, we have the ability to now know how those guys turned out, but even at the time, I don't think we thought most of these guys on the list I'm going to show you were just these gigantic prospects, whereas the guys we see now are gigantic prospects. I mean, they are really good looking guys. They may not turn out as good as we hope, but they if they do, Look out, Giants may have a team that can compete again sooner than maybe most people think. This was their top seven in 2018. Elliot Ramos, awesome. Okay, great. We know this guy's legit. Then after that, Chris Shaw was number two, opening day 2018. Now, Chris Shaw has a lot of power, but he has not quite made it yet. He's had opportunities. In fact, he started this season in double A. So what can we say? Austin Slater, he's nice but he's Austin Slater. Steven Duggar, well, we were really excited about him, but he didn't have a great year. It was Yastrzemski who came up and tore it up. Duggar, I still have hope for him, but Steven Duggar, okay. Sandro Fabian, that's a nice player. Andrew Suarez, uh, Andrew Suarez, I saw him in AAA. He's, back, he's still up and down from AAA. I mean, he's a nice arm. Tyler Beatty, same story, but Tyler Beatty did show really a lot of promise in 2019. I got hope for these guys going forward, but are these like serious top prospects who are going to make a difference, who are going to really come in and help a team win a World Series? Uh, I don't know. Boom. Now look at the top seven. Look at these names right here. And again, yes, we don't have the luxury of knowing how they're going to do because they haven't all made it to the big leagues yet. But look, check this out. I mean, Joey Bart, this is one of the top catchers in baseball as far as prospects go. Elliot Ramos still, this dude is on his way. Marco Luciano is an absolute beast. Read about this guy. Oh my goodness. Hunter Bishop, that is our number, our first round draft pick and he's coming up the chain. Alexander Canario, Mauricio Dubon, we know. These are big guys right here. These are guys who can help. Then you got Will Wilson, who's probably going to be number two or number three at worst. I mean, this guy is definitely going to shoot right up the prospect ranking for us. Will Wilson is legit. And uh, look at these seven compared to the seven from about a year and a half ago. I mean, you got to admit, this is way more impressive. This is way more bright of a future than we had just a, about a year and a half back. And the only downside to the move is we had to take on Zach Cozart's contract. Okay, so we had to get a guy who was in the All-Star game in 2017 and hit 24 home runs for the Reds. I mean, he was good. He hasn't been good for a couple years. He's had injury problems. He might not work out, but you know what? There's potential there. Cozart turns 34 in August, so he is a little bit older, and he has had injury problems, and he might not work out for us. He was part of the deal because the Angels wanted us to take him so that they could have even more money so they can go out and try to get Garrett Cole because that's who they want. All right, all right, if not Garrett Cole, they're going for someone big. They're trying to make a big blockbuster signing. So the Giants had to take Cozart. 
like I said, he had a nice year in 2017, 24 home runs, 297 batting average. But this year, 2019, he was awful. He couldn't hit anything, 124 average. But you know what? Give the guy an opportunity in spring training. Let him go out there, see what he's got. Why not? We got him unless they can, you know, wheel and deal him somewhere else. We got this guy who had a big year in 2017, which is not that long ago. I'm not saying he's going to come out and hit 24 home runs and hit 297. He's not. But you know what? We got him. Let him play in spring training. See what we got. But what we really got was Will Wilson. Boom. Awesome. Not saying it's 100% Will Wilson's going to turn out to be this great player, but you know what? Doesn't need to be 100%. The more big prospects you have, the more are going to work out. This is what we were looking at back in 2007, 2008, 2009. That's when we had the Posies and the Bumgarners and the Crawfords and the Belts and all these guys coming through our system. And then we won three World Series because we had all this young talent. Not all of them worked out, but enough of them did to help really propel the team to win a bunch of championships. So I'm not saying we're going to do that again, but this is where it starts with the youngsters and then later on a couple years from now maybe a year or two maybe 2021 2022 then we're going to sign a couple of free agents and then we're really going to make a push that's the hope by the way the giants also signed kevin gosman to a one-year deal this is a right-handed pitcher he was with the braves and the orioles and the reds and he has not pitched very well for a while he does have a hard fastball he's got a really good split finger Last season, he was pretty bad as far as wins and losses, 3-9. and nine. Uh, Not a very good ERA at 5.72 with the Braves and the Reds. He did have 114 strikeouts in 102 innings, which sounds really legit. That is a nice 11.3 strikeouts per 9 inning rate, but it's not his typical rate. Throughout his 7-year career, he has a 8.3 strikeouts per 9 inning rate. So this is a Drew Pomerantz type signing. Simple as that. He might help in the rotation. He might help in the bullpen. He might not help at all. He might help more than we expect. Lots of things can happen, but at the end of the day, he is going to just be another arm we got. So not a big deal. The big deal is Will Wilson. That is great. Bolstering that farm system. That is awesome. I really love it. Can't wait to see him play. Oh, yeah, and by the way, the Phillies signed Didi Gregorius. That's actually a big deal. Going to talk more about that tomorrow. Thank you all for joining me today. I hope you all had a fantastic day. Sorry getting this video out late today, and I'm really happy about the move. It's great. Getting some prospects in. Giants finally making some noise, making some moves, getting some players. I like it. Really bolstering that farm system. We'll see how this guy works out. How everything works out here. More moves will be made, I'm sure. And I'm looking forward to it. Thanks again, everybody. Check out the links in the description below. Talk to you guys next time. See ya! When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Every time the chips are down, it's bye-bye, baby. History's in the making at Oracle Park.